finger pointing tonight as Indian Trail works out a new contract with the Union County Sheriff's Office. The town scrapped a plan to start its own police force during a heated meeting over the weekend. As WCCB's Adrena Vegas reports, some neighbors now worry council members are pushing their own agendas. Finger pointing. It's your job in your hands. Name calling. You are a coward. And emotion. I will not support the old contract. Some say things got out of hand as town leaders decided to continue using Union County deputies for law enforcement. There are times when you just need to lay down your ego and you need to just lay down your pride and do what's in the best interest for the community. Council members tell me that now it's time to go back to the drawing board with the Union County Sheriff's Office to develop a new contract that Waddell thinks will be very similar to the $1.5 million contract they have now. They could put anything in front of me with the Union County Sheriff's Department Office and I'm going to vote against it. And the reason being, I don't want to deal with those people and you're not going to cram it down my throat. Council members Robert Allen and Darlene Luther want the town to start its own police department. They faced fierce criticism. Sir, you're a liar. That was pure bullying and threatening and just posturing to scare people. Is that how you negotiate with somebody? Resident Mark Weyerman hopes Allen and Luther stay out of contract negotiations with the sheriff's office. The perception we got as residents is clearly Luther and Allen are not for the best will and wishes of the residents. They are clearly for themselves. As for the other three council members. Look beyond all the drama. We're going to look beyond all the friction. Take care of the business of the town. Audrina Vegas, WCCB News. The town council and sheriff's office have until the end of June to negotiate a new contract.